So the second option for making your tunnel book is the photocopying option. So I made my original drawing right here. It's not fully completed, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to leave the forest floor blank. Um, and I took it to a photocopier, scanned it, copied it. The first copy I made was just on regular thin paper, like regular computer paper, and I'm using this as my planning sheet. So as you can see, I color coded all of the layers that I'm going to make, as well as outlined the border. So now I took my photocopies, which were done on cardstock, not thin regular computer paper because the cardstock is sturdier and you're going to need that to assemble your book. I'm going to trim off the edges here and then start assembling. So this process is better if you have a really detailed drawing or if you want to create more of a tunnel effect where you have repeated elements on each layer. So I'm going to go chop off the edges of this, measure my border, and I will be right back. So now I'm going to go through and cut each layer. Um, my first layer, number four, I'm going to keep these two trees in the front. I've already cut out this extra part here, although it looks like it got cut off on my photocopy a little bit. And then get rid of all the stuff in the middle. The important thing to make sure before you start cutting is that you all of your trees that you are going to cut out are at least touching some part of the frame, either the left frame, top frame, or bottom frame. So these two green trees are good because they're in the bottom and the top frame. Um, layer number three, the red tree, is touching the top frame, so it's good. And then layer number two, I have these two blue trees, and both of them are touching the top frame, so it should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Notice here that I decided to move up the frame. So instead of putting it down here, I have it up here, just for this one one image. Okay, so now I'm going to glue down all of my frames, starting with number one. Fold it over and do number two. Now number three. Four is going to be the front page. So now I have my book. All right, and when I set it upright, it's not working to make it like a book, what I should have done is kept the top part. Mm, the frame across the top? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, that was a wasted recording. And I already messed up. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so I didn't put the X's. I normally put X's where I'm supposed to cut. So I don't do that because I think that's super easy for anyone to do. Yeah, I think that works. Alright, let's yeah. try this assembly one more time. Maybe the tenth time is the charm. 